Good morning, everyone. Uh, Hurricane Irma and North Korea, they are the uh, major news stories right now, and I'm going to uh, continue with the Hurricane Irma theme as this is very important, and I, I'm sure most of you are keeping track of this no matter where you live, but just to bring you up on a few details here um, from Twitter, uh, this is the National Weather Service's uh, Twitter page for South Florida. Now, as of 5 a.m. today, on uh, September 5th, Irma has sustained winds of 150 miles per hour. Everyone should continue to monitor, check supplies, and be ready to implement action. And that's very important. Again, what we're trying to avoid here is hurricane porn and hurricane um, hysteria. Uh, gosh, what was it? Uh, almost a week ago when this storm began to um, rear its ugly head way out there, there were warnings of this is likely going to hit Houston and that area and, and further devastate that area. We don't know that. We, It's more likely, it's a near certainty, it's not going to go that far into the Gulf of Mexico. So we're, tr I'm trying to avoid hurricane hysteria here and just try to provide you with factual information. So there's that. And um, it's at 150 miles per hour right now. Um, as of seven hours ago, National Weather Service had it at 140 miles per hour. And this is very important if you live anywhere in Florida along the Atlantic coast as well in the United States of America. I'm recommending Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. Don't be scared. Be prepared. I know it sounds simple. It sounds like uh, something you would have seen on a 1950s television commercial. Don't be scared. Be prepared. Kind of like duck and cover. But seriously, folks, don't be scared. Be prepared. Know if you live in an evacuation zone, have a plan of action. Visit floridadisaster.org. Fully stock your hurricane supplies, make an emergency survival kit, and keep monitoring the latest forecast and forecasts and warnings. Now, this is um, this may be a little difficult to see here. I'm going to try to increase the size of this. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Again, this is for me. Twitter user. I'm also I'm also fighting with. Um, Spectrum Internet and Windows 10, which uh, <laughs> that's that is uh, S L O W slow. Okay, you can see here. I know the the vision the uh, view is kind of muddied. It's somewhat blurry. But by 8 p.m. Saturday, this is still going to be a major hurricane as it passes near Miami. So we're still five days away from this but this is uh this is u.s landfall right here uh near miami is a major hurricane i've seen or it could be a four when it arrives there so again be prepared and if you can if you are able be prepared to help in the aftermath anyway just wanted to bring you up to date on this folks uh this is this is on Twitter. I'll leave you a link to the uh, NWS Miami Twitter page if you want to check that out. And when it comes to links, please check out the link to my new fiction book release, Fortress, A Wayfarer Story. It's down there in the description area where it says plugs. It's a, a fiction book about now. It's fiction that honestly could come true. That's why I encourage you to check it out. It's about America and the world right now. If you are a world watcher, if you are into world events, indie journalism, this is a story for you. Anyway, folks, no matter where you live, uh, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Draw into Him. And before I go, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, you can hit the uh, bell icon to get email notifications when I post new content. Uh, there may not be not a lot of content today and tomorrow, but I'll do the best I can. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I will see you soon.